To begin proceedings, we profile the innovators for whom excellence knows no boundaries. They have the vision to see the future and the passion to make it happen. With the first of our four finalists, the fires of entrepreneurship burn brightly. JFC's John Concannon manufactures more than 250 different plastic products in Tuam in the UK and in a new factory in Poland. Among their unique designs is a construction pipe made entirely from recycled plastic. Everybody hears about the good days. There's plenty of bad days and nobody hears about them. I've had plenty of challenges, plenty of low days, and I don't go looking for them. They'll find me. When they find me, I'll deal with them on the day. I would like to think positive always. If you think positive, things will happen for you and you can make things happen and you influence the people around you to make things happen. I think that's one of the most important traits that any entrepreneur has. Jerry Brandon made the leap into the big time with the technology used in plasters that helps wounds heal faster. There are now over 50 products in 40 countries using, promoting and selling his MDOC brand. I think there's a, a very thin line between genius and insanity. And uh, someone said, you know, genius is measured by the level of success. Everybody must win, whether that's the people that you're working with, people that you're dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. And essentially, your customer has to feel that they're winning as well. So I would like everybody to draw. Kevin Neville's electronic signs provide real-time information to millions of commuters from New York to Hong Kong. Based in Ennis Diamond, County Clare, Data Display is also the largest supplier of cinema systems throughout the world. I would say that I'm probably results-based and maybe bossy in certain ways and that I like to set goals. However, I do listen and I think I'm probably getting better at listening. Well, I've been very lucky in my life. I've worked with some super people in business. I suppose if I have a philosophy, it's, you know, you need luck. But I find the harder you work, the better your luck becomes. Gerard Keenan's mixer wagons are exported all over the world. However, it's the nutrition support system behind them, built up over 20 years in business in Carlo, that has left the Keenan system a leader in its field. Money is a byproduct, it's not the objective, it's achievement, it's doing justice to the opportunity, it's carving out your own little piece of the world and having a lot of people with you who want to do the same thing. I suppose everybody that's here wants to uh, be. Uh, a winner. So look at. Uh, I certainly won't turn down the award if if it's uh, if it's made. There was a little bit of all sorts there. Entrepreneurs feeding the animals, reading the signs, and bringing pipe dreams to reality. With more tales from outside the comfort zone, let's meet the remaining four international finalists. They include a pair of accommodating individuals, a competition crusher, a man who'll see right through you, and Ireland's answer to J.R. Ewing. Tony McEnroe's Farron Technology from County Cork produces systems for the communications and security sectors. They recently developed a cost-effective security screen that sees through fog, cloud, clothes and even plasterboard. Never really started off with the ambition of wanting to work for myself. For me what's important is to work at something that I enjoy doing, whether that be for myself or for somebody else or with a group of people. And when you enjoy work, people who work with you then feed from that and also enjoy it as well. What drives me is to work at something that's my hobby. I've never stayed in a job where I didn't enjoy what I was doing. Sarah Newman and Andrew Collins are the people behind independent travel providers Needahotel.com. Their call centre and internet booking service serves more than 1 million customers each month and has an annual turnover of more than 100 million euro. We had a saying in our house that you don't get out for now. So I learned that philosophy from a very young age. Myself and my business partner, Andrew, we've had our heads down for a long time, just driving and pushing the business forward. And I don't think we've really looked outside of our own office windows to see what else is going on in Ireland. So to be a finalist 
is such an achievement. Aidan Heavey has grown Tullow Oil into the biggest independent oil producer in Europe. They control the North Sea gas fields and dominate West African exploration, producing 60,000 barrels of oil a day. Entrepreneurs, I actually believe that they're born. They're an unusual animal. I think it's something that actually suits the Irish mentality. Like the Irish generally don't conform. Look at some of the big companies around the world. They're all Irish guys, you know, doing businesses that you wouldn't even dream about. So the confidence is there now. And, you know, when you go around the world, you see people are not surprised anymore to find Irish companies at the top of the tree. Since acquiring the company in 2001, Hubert Watson has built FinTech into a 30 million euro global business. The County Tyrone company designs and manufactures crushers and screens for the construction industry worldwide. An entrepreneur is not someone unique. I don't think it's somebody special. I think it comes from the heart. And really that has to be pride, passion and strong leadership. Well, I think everybody would like to win the competition, uh, yes, it's taking the part is important, but if we were all honest, I'm sure we'd all like to win, but let the best person win, and whatever happens, let's enjoy it along the way. And now, joining us now on stage to announce the International Entrepreneur of the Year, please give a warm welcome to the Ernst & Young partner in charge of these awards, Enda Kelly. Uh, for bringing an Irish vision to the furthest reaches of the world. The 2005 Ernst & Young International Entrepreneur of the Year is Aidan Heavey. Yes. From a country with no tradition whatsoever in oil production, Aidan Heavey has scaled Tullo Oil into a company which is now worth over 2.5 billion euro. By partnering with emerging economies and recovering their natural resources, Aidan Heavey's sense of ambition has fueled a phenomenal success story. Um, this is very heavy. Um, I actually wanted to be Bobby Ewing, not J.R. Ewing. Um, this award is, is, um, is very special because we have a great team in Tullow. Uh, a few years ago, we were a very small exploration company, and today we're the largest independent oil company in, in Europe. And, you know, this is, is something special for, for the people. And thank you very much.